Okay, hey. So this is my new nose piercing. It's about three days old. Maybe about four. Let me say four days old today. It's cute. And I got it pierced with a gun. So let me go ahead and give some background on that. So I was just out with my mom the other day. And we stopped by her doctor's office. But the doctor's office was closed. And right next to the doctor's office was a beauty supply store. So I just went into the beauty supply store to grab a few bows for my daughter and some headbands. And the lady at the cashier, she had her nose pierced. And I was like, oh, your nose ring is so pretty. And she was like, we pierce noses here. And I was like, really? And I was with my mom, so I kind of just really wanted to do something with her because I never really gotten any of my piercings with my mom. It's usually just me and my sisters or me by myself. So so I was like, oh, let me, let me get my nose pierced. And she was like, it was just like, it was so cheap. It was like $10. So really, before I get any piercings, before I got any of my piercings done, I did like research. So this was kind of like an impulsive buy because I had did no research on nose rings. So I really didn't know anything like you wasn't supposed to get your nose pierced by a gun. So anyway, I got it pierced by a gun. As you can see, I have not had any swelling, any discomfort any type of pain anything it's just been it's been a great great experience for me actually but um the man you know first i was really kind of apprehensive of doing it but he was like he's been doing this for like 20 something years and like he had like a lot of experience yet he had only been doing it like 10 months or so at that particular store but I was still like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I was like, okay, forget it, let's just do it. So, he was very sanitary, he like, cleaned his hands with alcohol, then put the gloves on, he like, cleaned my nose 50 million times, like, it was nothing on the Q-tip anymore, but he was still just like, just to be sure that everything is copacetic, he was just steady cleaning it, and he used a gun that was slightly smaller than the gun that you use to get your ears pierced it was like a mini version of that gun and he was very patient like i don't know i put that dot all over my nose like 50 million times because really i was just really scared so that's probably why i moved the dot so many times like an inch this way inch that way like that dot i don't even know if he was even moving it anymore because i had to move it so many times so anyway <laughs> Make a long story short, he pierced it, counted to three, clicked it, pierced it. It was just that fast and simple. I mean, it was. It ended up being like a stud earring. It was like one of those little bitty studs that you, like when you were a baby, that they put in your ear, one of those little ones. And it's like, it just clicked. There was the earring and the back at once. So... After he did that, he told me that I had to come back the next day, the following day, and get um, a nose ring put in. So, um, I was really like, well, can I come back, like, on that Friday? It was, like, just two days. And he was like, well, really, you should come back tomorrow, 24 hours, because uh, by Friday, it may be healing with that ring in it. So, he wanted to take it out the following day and then put the nose ring in. So... I went back the following day and he just took like some tweezers and kind of pinched my nose together and pulled up on that nose ring with the tweezers. It came right out, no pain really. And he had me like put my finger in and pop out the back <laughs> and the back just fell on the floor and it was like, it's okay, it's trash. So I was like, okay. So I picked the nose ring, which is this the one I picked, the very small one. The other one, the, the set was quite bigger, and I'll just put a picture in somewhere. But I picked the small one, and it's actually have like a little ball on it. Not the one that I have to twist to put on, but it's actually like a little ball on it. Just a very little ball that helps keep it from just coming out. Like, instead of just a straight, a straight uh, ring, it's not an L ring or anything. It just has like a very little ball, and it just kind of gives it a 
torque, I guess, not to just leave the nose easily. I'm just guessing that's what it does. Never had a nose ring before, but it hasn't came out and it's the third day, I mean fourth day. So I'm guessing that's what it what it does because so far everything has been great. Now I didn't get to do the research until the day after which was the third day which was last night. Last night I was like, well, I wonder um how to put in a hoop because I was wondering if I could change it to a hoop so like the man really didn't give me any information like on how to clean it he just said clean it make sure it stays clean I think he told me to use alcohol at that but uh <laughs> which I already know like alcohol is good to a certain extent because it kind of hinders the wound from healing as quickly as it will but that's because you're steady like burning it or whatever and I've had plenty of piercings like my piercings are fairly old like I got this piercing at least a good 17 years ago and all of these are pretty old and I, I will get on to these earrings right here because these are like this cartilage and like when you get like way up here these are like the most sensitive areas and they really to me do not ever completely heal like really they really don't like I'm sorry and that's another thing like my nose it just feels like it's running all the time I don't know I don't know if it's running because nothing there but it just like it's just I don't know maybe it's just the ring and it's just feel like something is running out of my nose I don't know because I do this now and I never really done that a lot but I see myself doing that a lot now but anyway back to the subject of hand but anyway I got my nose pierced with the gun there was no complications. I went back the next day, got it removed, and then the next day I started doing my research. And then I hear, you're not supposed to use the gun. You're not supposed to take it out for the first two to three months. Hence, I took it out like the next day. And the fact that he took it out and then he put the nose ring in, like it was just like, blink. like I didn't even feel the nose ring go in. So I don't know. It didn't close like right up, maybe because it was a stud and it was bigger. Then the nose ring, I have no idea, but it didn't close right up and the nose ring just went straight in. So, just go ahead and put that out there. But, um, yeah, then I I just started, like, doing the research and seeing, like, so much about piercing your nose with a gun. Like, all these bad experiences. So, and also, I was also just, it all really started off me trying to change my nose ring. And I ran across a a video and she was like I got it done with a needle and no one never get it done with a gun and I was like well um a little too late for that that has been done that's done so like what do I do now and then I just keep hearing like everyone's getting like these big bumps on their noses and I'm like oh my god am I going to develop one of those I forgot the name of it already but I don't want to bump on my nose not just because I got a nose ring no like and so far it's like day four and I don't have a bump I don't have swelling like I can't even tell that it's there like I don't feel it at all so and I have been cleaning it with alcohol I will say that and at least about two to three times a day but it has given me no irritation at all like and I know alcohol is not really good to clean it, but I do have you know even if I don't use alcohol I mean, I do know it's not the best thing to clean with, but it's kind of like what I got on hand. And I don't want to just use water because I'm already scared from what I've seen now on YouTube. And I'm like, I better probably keep using the alcohol. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to figure this out. I just thought I should record this now while it's still day four. And, you know, maybe like next week, I'm not going to say that, but next week hopefully it's still the same I do a review and because right now all the videos I've seen with the gun has got me scared but from my experience and what I've experienced so far like and what I've seen that the people went through with the needle I'm like no this was like three seconds no pain like I never had pain like the pain from one to ten was zero like the time it took literally like half a second to click the, the 
The only time constructive part about it was I had to go back the next day and get a ring put in it. But, you know, so far I haven't had any complications, so I'm just going to say thank God for that. But yeah, it's really, really, really cute. So I really, really like it. But I really don't know anything about nose rings at all. So, you know, be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any advice or suggestions for me. Like, I don't know, maybe I probably should stop cleaning it with alcohol. But right now, I'm thinking that may be why I haven't caught any infections. So maybe I should stick to it. I don't know, but anyway, I want to say something about the cartilage too. Like my cartilage, like I said, is super, super old. And like, this took like the longest out of all of my piercings, even my tongue. It took the longest, this took the longest to heal. This right here, this, like I have four, one, two, three, and four. Number three right here, this is so old. It's like a good... 12 years old and every time I wear an earring that it is sore and it's not like it's well let me say 24 hours is sore I can't leave an earring in that hole at all it's like I'm not gonna say it's not sore now because I just put my earrings on but if I go to sleep or something like in any type of earring I wouldn't go to sleep in these because it would tear the back of my neck up but if I like had like hoops in or some type of earrings that were protected in the back it doesn't matter that ear when I wake up oh my god would it be on fire so I don't know and I, I say these are the hard, hardest to pierce I had this pierced twice the first time I had it pierced it just would not heal and this is actually the second piercing and I don't know so piercings I think are all funny so I guess Let's just say you can never say never because I had my eye actually done twice. And I don't know if you can see it, but it was like a little higher. And for some reason, it just wouldn't heal. So I had to bring it down some. And this one healed. And I've had this for like maybe eight years now. And it's completely healed. But the first one would not heal. And I had it for going on like eight nine months it just would not heal almost a year mark and it was just so painful it had started pussing up and swelling and i was just getting scared so i had to took out and done again but yeah and so far this has been good it's been a good gun experience so i guess um to each his own when it comes to how your body handles piercings so if like you are leaning toward getting your nose pierced by a gun. I don't know. Let me come back at you with a review and tell you like in a few weeks like what else happened because so far the only thing I hear about gun experiences are like bad experiences and so far I've just been having a great experience. No pain, no nothing. So I just want to come and just go ahead and do that initial that initial video just so you, you guys can see it and I'll go ahead and also, I think I already said it, but I'll be sure to insert a picture of how it was when I first got it done. Because, of course, you know, you took, I took pictures. Somebody, you took pictures. But I took pictures. Yeah, so, anyway, I guess that's it. So, bye for now.